Hey, what's up, you beautiful sons of bitches? I'm Marcus with Epic Life Gaming, and we're going to be switching it up today and doing a little boom beach. So what we got right now is some heavy zooka rifle hookah raids that we got for you guys. So we're just going to go switch it up. I've done enough warriors. Let's <coughs> and let's start doing some different raids. So all I did was drop a few of those uh, mirages around this base and definitely going to take it on and uh, try to switch it up from the same old shit that we have been doing with uh, just doing straight up warrior raids because some guys hate that I do Boom Beach. They click on this video anyways even though they don't like Boom Beach and then they go and hit the dislike button because I put a video up of Boom Beach and it's like ridiculous that you guys will just click on a video just to dislike it. If you don't want to watch Boom Beach, don't watch it. I'm sorry. I don't like to be rude. Um, I appreciate all you, you know, all you subscribers and viewers out there. I appreciate you guys for watching this. Um, just don't watch it if you don't want to watch it. It's that simple. Some people do want to see Boom Beach, so I'm going to put out some Boom Beach for you guys. I enjoy playing it, so I'm going to upload it. So there you go. Um, if you want to hit that dislike button, go ahead and hit that dislike button. That's all. I'll hit it. I'll hit it too. When I upload this video, I'm going to hit that thumbs down button. So you're at least going to see one thumbs down just so you guys don't have to hit that thumbs down. All right. So go ahead and hit that like button. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. So this is all for all the people that do appreciate my Boom Beach videos. This is just doing a little rifleman, Zuka, hookah, you know, medic tank raids. No, not really. Um, so this is just doing a little bit different. And this was my first raid that I have done in a while. And let's just say I sucked, to say the least. Um, this does get a little slow. I pretty much use the whole amount of time that I have left, which is a whole two minutes that I'm just trying to pick off buildings um, and just, just don't even know what I'm doing right here. But um, it does work. Um, taking out these buildings, I think, was a lot quicker to destroy that town hall than just... Uh, Oh, I didn't even see that uh, that Zuka shooting. I'm like, why the hell is that that Zuka shooting at two different buildings at once? <laughs> that would have been a great scheme of mine to be able to do that. But uh, the, you know, I'm learning how to do this. Um, Warriors has been my main attack strategy that I've been using, and those guys are so beastly, so problem to these guys that I attack on my base. Um, that uh, they just do such a great job. But I know you guys are getting tired of seeing Warriors every single video when I put up Boom Beach. So I just switch it up, and I think I'm going to do all Riflemen next, and then maybe switch it up, do some tanks, and I'll start putting out some more Boom Beach. I'm sorry that I've been neglecting the Boom Beach. Just I haven't been getting a lot of views, but some people have been asking for it back, so maybe some people want it. So I'll put it out for you guys. All right, so there it is. We lost a shit ton of troops so we had to go ahead and rearm ourselves with some more troops and get back to the biz and uh this time i think i did a little bit better of a job taking out this guy um he had a more condensed area and with this i gotta switch it up so before i take out um the cannons and the sniper towers and the flamethrowers first now i do want to take out flamethrowers but i also want to take out the machine guns Anything that does a high amount of damage to multiple troops is what I want to focus on. When you go after, like, the cannons, they only can shoot once every, what is it, three, four seconds? I don't know. Someone will bitch at me at the comments for not knowing. But uh, they, they shoot so slow that there's enough rifle, there's enough troops that they're able to stay alive. Um, you know, there, there's just so many of them that you can't take them out fast enough. Um, they'll kill you before you kill them is basically the whole thing I'm trying to get at. Um, it's a war out there, and we're trying to win this war, that's for sure. Um, definitely taking on these uh, bases with a little bit of ease, 
um, and a little bit of struggle. I'd say 50-50. So say like um, I'm dropping a lot of troops right here, but I'm standing up. I definitely have more than enough to beat this guy, but I could be doing better. But that's just going to come with time. That's just going to come with experience. That's just going to come with, you know, just everything all mixed up into one. Just put it in the blender and turn it on and see what the outcome is. And hopefully it's something tasty and good. All right. So there it is. We got that one. That one we finished a lot faster than that last one. We didn't have to use the full three and a half minutes of wartime. We just lost about the same amount of guys. Um, maybe a few less. All right. Now we're going up against J. Pashtone. Seven. All right. So this one we're going to obviously... I found a way that I think was better than trying to attack this entire base head on. You know, like two bulls or rams slamming into each other. Um, I decided, you know what, why don't we go out around the outside and take on this guy from the back and give it to him that way. And that way we can just slam him hard and slam him quick and just get the job done and get out of there. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so we're just going to go up here. We're going to take out this uh, machine gun over on this uh, left-hand side. Take it out. And there's not going to be too many more defenses that are going to be able to shoot my, my troops. So what I'm going to do is just take them around the outside. Take them to the back of the base and uh, destroy the base that way. It'll be easy, quick, painless, and we'll be able to get the victory without losing as many troops as I would have if I would have just attacked this guy straight on. What I messed up here is I didn't drop that. Well, what happened was I was hitting that location up there, and it wasn't working. And so I tapped it twice, and it sent two flares over there. Then I'm like, what am I doing? So I had to flare him even farther back. And as I said, I'm a rookie to this, you guys. I apologize. I'm not that good at this yet. But hey, you, you learn. And the only way to learn is to practice. Practice? We're talking about practice. You know, I don't know. A little Owl and Iverson joke? No? Is he not cool anymore? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're battling these guys. Taking on this base. All we have that's shooting us is that sniper tower and that mortar. And luckily, they're basically... Um, focusing on my heavies and a couple of those riflemen on the right hand side. No big deal. No big D. We got the victory. Ooh. Oh. That rhymed. So sick. So sick. And we only lost 10 troops, which wasn't too bad. And a hell of a lot of loot. All right. So this one was a much tougher base to take on than my last three. I starting to get warmed up, starting to, you know, feel it out, feel out, you know, jam, jam, swing, right hook, right hook, uppercut, body shot, body shot, you know, drop them for the one, two, three. Um, so feel a little bit tougher, feel a little bit stronger. And I decided to take on this base. So I took out the, uh, the big dog in the back. Because I knew I didn't want to face that. If that took out uh, my heavies right off the bat, all I'd have left are my riflemen and bazookas. Um, so they wouldn't last long. So when I go ahead, drop my heavies, wait a couple seconds, drop my riflemen, wait a second, drop my bazookas. That's the strategy that I found out that works. So that way they get lined up for a little bit, at least at the beginning. As you can see, those Zookas move really fast, and so they're much quicker than the heavies. And so they'll run ahead as you know as soon as they possibly can. They got a longer you know area of shot; they can shoot from a farther distance. Um, so that's the only benefit to uh, letting them stay in the back and not worrying that they'll go to the front. But uh, as you can see, they're spreading out like they always do. It's always a pain in the butt. Um, but you got to regroup them. And I just said, go ahead. Attack that HQ. Get the job done. I put a uh, heal spell over on the left-hand side. Shock bomb the right-hand side. And we're closing in for the victory. It's going down. It's just a matter of seconds. And three, two, one. <laughs> Dropping Hiroshima's. All right. So there it is. Victory once again. Walking away the big W. Not much loot though, but hey, it was a tougher base. I wanted to challenge myself, so I did. 
and that's what we do and here we go all right so now we're able to upgrade something so I went ahead and said hey we're using riflemen let's upgrade these bad bitches all right so there it is you guys hopefully you enjoyed this boom beach if you did go ahead and hit that like button it really shows me that you enjoy this content it lets me know to keep doing what I'm doing if you want to hit that dislike button go ahead I know one of you guys are going to if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button you're gonna get daily videos fun content and you get to hang out with me thank you guys for everything you're doing for this channel hope you have a great day and don't forget to stay beautiful